<coughs> okay our next topic is localizing a wave in space normally a wave can be represented like this suppose this is a wave such that we have this is the x axis okay and this is the y axis now this is a wave such that this is the wavelength of the wave the wavelength is basically uh, what we call it the it is the distance between two consecutive crest or two consecutive trough. So here we have these two trough and two consecutive trough are this one. So here this is the wavelength of this wave. Now this wave is spread out to infinity. So this wave is spread out to infinity and the spreading is along x axis spread it spread out to infinity along x axis because this wave is spread in in this way also also it, it is spread in this way but here i draw just a small portion of this way. <clears throat> now, if we use this wave, because we already mentioned in the Broglie hypothesis that a, a, a particle can be, in the Broglie hypothesis, we already explained that a particle can be, a particle can be represented by a wave. Oh, in other words, a wave is associated. A wave is associated with a particle. So, if we represent this wave, if if we use this wave to represent a particle, then. then it is difficult to identify, identify the exact position of the particle in this wave. So from this we can say that the exact position of the particle is difficult to identify. And the reason is because we have the amplitude of the wave is constant everywhere. So it means that the particle can be found everywhere. If, if I have a situation like this, let's suppose we have a wave which is like this. Then the maximum probability of finding the particle is somewhere here because the amplitude of the wave is maximum here. But and here we have the amplitude is very very small so the minimum the probability of finding the particle is minimum here and as well as it is minimum here and the maximum probability of finding the particle is here but here the amplitude is same everywhere so it means that the particle can be found everywhere at any time so we can say that the uncertainty so we can say that from this we can say that the uncertainty delta x which I represent by delta x in position of the particle along x axis is infinity.
so we cannot exactly identify the particle at a particular point so it means that this uncertainty in position of the particle is infinity so the particle can be found everywhere now now so the particle here i can say that the particle can be found found everywhere now as we see that this wave is a definite wavelength if it is a definite wavelength then it is a definite wave number wave number k because k is equal to 2 pi over lambda if lambda is definite then k has also a, has a definite value now what is a wave number we already defined it a wave number is basically the the number of wave per unit length call wave number so if lambda is definite uh, it is a specific value then this wave is also is a definite value now if we assign if we assign a direction to the wave number we get wave vector like if we assign a different directions to this wave number then we get a we call it a wave number we call it a wave vector now we know that when a number of waves when a number of waves traveling of uh, with a number of waves with different wavelength uh, frequency amplitude and wavelength moving in the same directions then what will happen these wave interfere with each other and the interference is either is either a constructive interference or it's a destructive interference So the interference is either constructive or destructive interference. Now, suppose we have a number of waves which are traveling in, a, in the same direction such that these waves have different frequencies, amplitude and wavelength. And they are moving in the same directions then on the way of, on the way like they are moving in, the, uh, in this direction then on the way these waves either interfere with each other and the interference is either constructive or destructive suppose that these waves interfere destructively everywhere except at a specific region so I can write the region here suppose we have this space okay in this space we have different waves which are moving such that these waves has have different frequencies and amplitude uh, wavelength then they interfere on their way so the interference is either constructive or destructive suppose that in this region like in this region i have destructive interference in this region i have also destructive interference but the wave only interfere here in this region constructively so in this region once they interfere destructively then the waves disappear here also the waves they disappear here so here we have the destructive interference And similarly here we have also the restrictive interference but this is the only region where we have the constructive interference so once they interfere constructively then what will happen 
we have a, a single wave whose amplitude is greater than the individual wave. So in this region, I have a wave like this. So overall, we can say that. So it means that in this region, we have the constructive interference, but the constructive interference amplitude is maximum at the center, while it is decreasing as we move away from the center. So overall, we have this situation. So overall, I can say that we have the interference, which is in this region, I have the maximum amplitude, while away from this region, I have the amplitude, which is getting smaller. So this is the region of, this is the region where the amplitude of the wave is maximum, while here we have the amplitude which is getting decreasing and finally in this region we have zero amplitude and similarly in this region we have zero amplitude. Or the wave disappear here. So this is the region of interference and here we have constructive interference and this is the region of destructive interference. So here we have, let's suppose, we have this maximum amplitude occur at k naught, and on this side I have the half k naught. Okay, this is k naught, and this is 1.5 k naught, and so on. Now, here I have to find the width of this. Uh, I can say that uh, I can say that this is the width. I represent this width by delta k. Now, <coughs> since we have this wave, so this wave basically represents a particle. Now, I have many many waves which are traveling in the same direction. And on their way, they get interfere with each other. Somewhere they interfere constructively, and somewhere they interfere destructively. So in this region, I have the destructive interference. In this region, I have also the destructive interference. Here, I have only the constructive interference. So the constructive interference magnitude is maximum here, and it's also getting smaller and smaller as we move away from this side, or if, if we move away from this side. So it means that the maximum probability of finding the particle is maximum now in this region and it's, the probability is getting smaller and smaller as we move away from this side and the probability is getting smaller and smaller if we move away from this side. So the maximum probability is here in this encircle region while the minimum probability is here and the minimum probability is here. So it means that now this is my delta x. Now, if I increase, if I increase delta x like this region, then what will happen? This delta k, this width will decrease. So if I increase my this wave here, so what will happen? This delta k getting smaller and smaller. So the probability of getting the particle is decreasing here. So what it means? It means that this maximum region of finding the probability of particle is getting smaller and smaller. So it means that the probability of finding the particle is getting bigger here and it is getting bigger in this side. So all we say that if we increase delta x then delta k will also decrease. But this increase and decrease is such that their product delta x, delta k is of the order of 1. Uh, I can say that if I multiply this delta x with this delta k, then I get 1. What it means? It means that the product of these two will give us uh, the region, uh, the product of these two will give us a region where the probability of finding the particle is maximum. Maximum means 100%. Or uh, we can say that its probability of finding the particle is 1. So this is what we call it the localize, localize, call it the localizing of wave in space. So the idea behind this is suppose we have this wave 
and I suppose that this wave represents a particle. Now the, the, the probability of finding the particle is uh, infinite. I, I mean that the particle can be found everywhere because the amplitude of the wave is similar, same everywhere. So it means that the particle can be found here, the particle can be found here, the particle can be found here, and the particle can be found everywhere, and the probability is same everywhere. But if we have a number of waves which has a different wavelength or different frequency or different amplitude, they are moving in the same direction, then on their moment, uh, once they are moving in the same direction, then they on their way, they either they interfere. So the interference is either constructive or destructive. Now, somewhere the wave interfere destructively and somewhere they interfere constructively. So this is the region of destructive interference. This is also the region of destructive interference. But this is the region of constructive interference. Now this is the region of constructive interference. So it means that the wave obtained here has a amplitude which will be greater than the wave which will be greater than the amplitude of the individual wave. So I have this region, this is the region of constructive interference. So the wave basically looks like this. So here in this region, the amplitude of the wave is maximum. So the maximum probability of finding the particle is here in this region. While the probability is getting smaller and smaller in this way or it's getting smaller and smaller in this way. But beyond this point, the probability becomes zero. And also here it's become zero. So we have the particle is now confined to this region. The particle is now the particle is now the maximum probability of the finding the maximum probability of finding the particle is now bound to this region. Now here I, I represent this width of this wave as by delta k and this whole width by delta x. Now if I increase my this delta x, what will happen? This delta k will be get smaller. But the relation is such that their product delta x time delta k is always high, is of the order of 1. What it means? It means that if we increase delta x, delta k will decrease. So what it means? If delta k decreases, then the probability of finding the particle is now getting bigger to this side and getting bigger also to this side. And it's getting smaller here. But overall the particle is still here. So it means that the product of this delta x will delta k will give us a value which is 1. By 1 I means 100%. What it means? It means that the probability of finding the particle in this region is maximum. Maximum means the, the probability the particle will surely be, will be in this region. So the probability of finding the particle is 100% here because the particle cannot found here or it can't found here. So the particle is only appeared in this region or it's occupy only this region. So the the, re the product of these two quantities, delta x into delta k, will always give us a value which is 1, a hundred percent. So this will give us the maximum probability. Uh, we can say that the probability of finding the particle is finding the particle in the region and the region is defined like by this one delta x is 100% so the particle will surely be in this region while outside of this region there is zero probability of finding the particle this is what we call it the localizing a wave in space thank you